In these problems, we're doing something called algebraic addition. So you'll notice a lot of uh, parentheses and a lot of um, minus and plus signs. The way I like to think of the, the signs here is that the minus sign means do the opposite. So if what's inside the parentheses says add 5, well, a minus sign in front of it says do the opposite, which would be subtract 5. So if we start this one from the beginning, we start with a minus 7, and then we do the opposite of adding 5, which is subtracting 5, and a negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. If that seems confusing to you, you also want to think of it on a number line. We started at negative 7, so here's 0, here's negative 7. If we start here and we go minus 5, that's 5 more in this direction. So we're going to end up at negative 12. Let's look at another one. This one starts with negative 1, and then it says do the opposite of subtract 7. So minus a minus 7, that's the same thing as adding 7. The opposite of subtracting 7 is adding 7. So we start at negative 1, and then we add 7. That brings us to a positive 6. If you think about that on a number line, here's 0. You start way back here at negative 1. To go 7 spaces this way, you're going to end up at 6, because there's one space to get to 0, and then 6 more. Another way to think about this is when you see two minus signs in a row, and the only thing separating them might be a, a stray parentheses. For every two minus signs, you can turn them into a positive. Let's try uh, another. Okay, this one starts with minus 7. And I'm going to use the 2 minus sign trick here, so that's positive. That's just one minus sign there, so uh, that's a plus a minus 9 or just a minus 9. So this one comes out to negative 7 plus 7 minus 9. It's sort of like a plus and a minus together simplified to a minus, whereas two minus signs together simplify to a plus. So negative 7 plus 7, well that adds up to 0. And then minus 9, so our answer is minus 9 on that one. All right, last one. I'm going to do this trick again where I see two minus signs in a row. I'm going to turn them into plus. And I guess that's it. So we start at negative 8, and then this becomes plus 8. And then plus a minus is the same thing as a minus. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Minus 6, this equals a minus 6. So that's some work with algebraic addition.